All right, guys, so if you've ever tried to take a picture of a snake, it's so frustrating. Unless you have a ball python, they just sit there. So I want to show you our trick for getting a snake to sit still in a picture. We are going to use a small container that's just big enough for the animal to curl around in. We'll set the animals inside, like Jessica is doing here. <laughs> and it's, it's really all about controlling the head. Yeah, see? If you can control the head, the rest of the body will follow. I'm telling you, even this is not that easy. But we're basically going to give the animal a timeout in this picture. Now, super dwarves are always super curious, so when you put them in there, they're going to look around, they're going to try to find, you know, like an area of the container that they can push out and escape, right? Um, and they do that for a while, and then eventually they will settle down and just relax. So my best advice, if you're trying to take a picture of a bunch of them, is grab a half a dozen containers of different sizes, Round works the best because they end up looking the most natural. But if you have to go square, go square and set a bunch of those out and just give the snakes a timeout while they finish exploring and then curl up and settle down until you can return later and get ready to take your picture. All right, so if you take a look at these little boogers, that guy was trying to push his way up. I had to put something heavy on top, and he's still not quite done moving. The problem if they're not totally done is that as soon as I lift this, they're gonna start exploring, so I better grab that picture quick. In contrast, this one here is chilled out. He's got his, his head there. As long as you don't touch the tail, they shouldn't spring out like a, one of those snakes with the springs out of the can. All right, go ahead and pull those off and I'll try to get the picture. Go. And I'm gonna go ahead and take the picture quick now just to make sure I got it. Now I'm gonna try to make them look pretty. So if I can get, that one's curling up nicely on his own. Let's turn this one not triangle. Come here, buddy. You got a little bit of gross wrinkly skin. Nobody wants to buy a wrinkle skin snake that was sitting in his water bowl, ew. There we go. This is funny because this is a super cool snake, but that thing looks gorgeous right now. Kind of uh, the reason why, you know, the customers that get to know me best are like, you pick it for me. Because this one looks like poo and that one looks gorgeous today. But that's it. Now we've got them. They sit still. If I need to take more, you know, I can kind of move around. And as long as this guy's sitting here and I don't touch his tail, if you watch, I can kind of reposition the head to a certain amount and then I could get in there with my camera and do that. We're just doing a quick side-by-side -side of a platinum and a normal retic for a customer. But that's basically it. If I just do little touches and keep that head down, I can reposition. Whereas if I was to say, pull this tail out, you'll see the difference, off he goes. So as long as you don't mess with the tail and you kind of keep everything together, you should be able to move them around quite a bit. Oh, there, there goes the tail, off goes the snake. But that's it, that's our tip for how to get them to finally sit still. If you have any other methods, comment below. And if you guys need some more tips about dealing with your animals, you're gonna definitely wanna check out this video right here.